In this module, we will talk about the alternative approach to the classical approach of media optimization, that is, Plaquette Berman design. What is Plaquette Berman design? Plaquette Berman design is reported by two scientists, two workers, Plaquette and Berman, in 1946, which is commonly known as Plaquette Berman design. According to this design, we can use when our independent variables are more than five. So, as we have seen in our classical approach that uh, if there are three different nutrients having six different concentration or a six different nutrients having three different uh, and then there is a huge number of experiment. But in case when our independent variables are more than five, then we can use the plaquette berman design. So, in this case, when we say that plaquette berman design, according to these author, they designed a series of experiments, about 100 experiment, using experimental rational technique, which is basically balanced incomplete block design. So, according to this, this technique only allow the evaluation of x minus 1. So, x 1 is basically the variable by expe x experiments. So, x must be in plaquette berman design should be the multiple of 4. Either that is 8, 12, 16, 20, 24 and so on. 28, 32, etc. So, we have to set our experiment in the multiple of 4. So, normally one determines how many experiment variable need to be included in any investigation. So, then select plaquette berman design which meets the requirement most closely to the multiple of 4. So, any factors not assigned to any variables that should be designated as dummy variables. If we say that there are the four uh, are the trials and two or three you can set as a dummy trials, which is not actually the part of your the significant variables. So, there should be compulsory to design a dummy variables. That is very important in case of placard berman design. So, alternatively the factors known to not have any effect which is known as dummy variables. So, in next slide you can see a table in which there is an example including seven different variables named by A to G having two different levels high and low. So, seven variables with two different possibilities high and low higher designated by H and low designated by L. So, in which the two variables designated by E and G are designated as dummy variables. So, as we have already seen that during the placard berman design, we have one or two dummy variables which determine the whole set of uh, the design. So, in this table you can see that uh, there are seven different uh, variables and there are eight trials, variable 1, variable 2, variable 3, variable 4, variable 5, variable 6 and variable 7. So, in these variables E and G, these two are the dummy variables because they have not directly the significant variables we have planned in our experiment. In the placard berman design, if we have a 8 different number of trials, in each variables, in case of A, we have to give 50 percent chance of the high and 50 percent chance to low. You can see in this column that uh, there are 4 H and 4 L. The same case, you can set randomly 4 H and 4 L. In all seven different variables. So, just by designing this, we run eight different experiment 
for any desired product for desired fermentation. For example, in eight different cases, when A variable have a high volume, B, A, B, C are with the high value, value D and F with the low value, and E and G, which are the dummy variables, are designated by the high value. So, by this, we can set different conditions to run eight different experiments, and we get the yield you can see in this column. So, when we have a such kind of uh, the experiment, then proceeding further, in the stage you can see that uh, the variable A for the trial in which the B, in all cases, there is an equal chance of uh, using high value and the low value. Suppose, as an example, if we said that uh, we want to set the pH, one is high pH is uh, 7 and the low pH, suppose, 5. So, two parameters. On the other hand, if we are dealing with the concentration of carbon, we can say that 1 percent or a 2 percent. So, the 1 percent considered as low and 2 percent considered as 2. By same way, in the temperature, if we say the temperature is a 20 degree Celsius or a 40 degree Celsius, what we can what we can maintain and what we have to optimize. So, by this, by arranging the different uh, 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 variables, and you know that E and G columns are also having high and low values. So, just by setting this, we have eight different uh, results. As you have seen in previous table, uh, the yield of uh, the product in eight different uh, strategies. So, in case when we say that the effect of dummy variables, the effect of dummy variables are calculated in the same way as the effect of the other experimental variables A, B, C, D and we know that E and G are the dummy variable. So, other fives are our uh, the experimental variables. Suppose, if we say that if there is no interaction and no errors in measuring the response, the effect shown by the dummy variables should always be zero. If there is no more interaction and there is no more error in the experiment, we know that uh, we have uh, assumed two dummy variables. That is why their effect should be zero. So, that is why when we talk about such case, we should calculate the effect of those dummy variables uh, response. So, this procedure will identify important variables that affect on the fermentation process during uh, the which will be the most important and which will be the less important. In later modules, we will talk about in detail that how the effect of dummy variables and significant variable will be calculated.